In South Australia, there's about four cyclists killed per annum. Serious casualties, about 40. And about 200, 250 casualties all up per annum. So it is a pretty significant problem for us, but the more disturbing problem is that the increase, the rate of increase in casualties is going up by 20% over the last decade, as opposed to car accident casualties are going in the opposite direction by 20%. So we're saying that we've got to do something about that, and one of the key things to do about it is visibility. Motorists not picking a cyclist on the road is a major issue. The Santos Tour Run Under has been running for 15 years, and over that time we've seen a huge growth in participation in cycling and it makes perfect sense that uh, Motor Accident Commission, which is all about rider safety, cycling safety, and the event work together in uh, promoting safe cycling and uh, while still encouraging people to participate. This space, the Village and Expo area, is really the centre of the event for a week and a half. We'll have 40, 50,000 people coming, coming to this area. So in developing the campaign, we wanted to make this area a real feature and that's led to the big bike concept in really making a statement for the village which is the centre of the event but doing it in a way that promotes safe cycling as well. Yeah I've been involved with Mac for a couple of years now I think it's a very, uh, very important issue every time I come back to Australia I see more and more uh, people out on their bikes and there seems to be more and more traffic um, so obviously you know accidents are going to happen and if we can promote people wearing the right clothing, getting their bikes fitted out, riding smart, but also the motorists, just to be that little bit more patient and just share the road because the riders aren't going anywhere and the, and the cars certainly aren't. Well, it was October 2009, so just over three years ago. Uh, I was riding down Cross Road with a few mates uh, at the top of Cross Road. And um, as I was coming down, I was probably doing about 50 kilometres an hour. There was a car waiting to turn right. Um, he waited for my mates who were in front of me, uh, saw them and fortunately didn't see me and turned in front of me as I was coming down the road. So I hit the front of his car um, with my bottom half of my legs and speared across the bonnet um, of, his, of his car and into his windscreen with my head. You know, he saw my mates. I still to this day believe he didn't really see me. I was wearing dark coloured clothes. Um, they weren't. Um, they were in a good position on the road. I probably wasn't in the best position. And, uh, you know, ultimately that was my undoing. Um, you know, motorists can't behave in the right way if they don't know you're on the road. The tour attracts so many more visitors to South Australia who love cycling, but also just the normal mum and dad and kids that get their bikes out uh, when the tour's on and they ride around the city and so forth. So we're interested in actually tapping into their them as well and making sure that they, they understand the road rules and wear, wear the right attire. You know, we're professionals, so obviously this is our job and we know how to ride bikes pretty well. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of people just out on the roads that maybe don't have that experience and, you know, get a little bit nervous and but it's, you know, it's really up to the people driving the cars to um, just be alert and look out, you know. No one wants to, I'm sure no one wants to run anybody over and cause of death. I mean, you know, the motorists also have to think what happens if it was their son or daughter out on a bike. Um, it's got to be a respect both ways. There's a shared responsibility on the road. You know, motorists, cyclists, pedestrians, everyone's got a responsibility. We're all users of the road in some way. I thought that targeting cyclists was particularly important. This is a great thing to be reinforcing right now with all cyclists that um, if you are seen, then you have a much better chance of avoiding an accident than if you're not seeing. And uh, you know, I'm case in point. South Australian cycling star Stuart O'Grady is urging riders to stay safe on the road. If you're cycling to work today, wear reflective or light coloured clothing so you're easily seen by others on the road. Hi folks, tonight I'm in the Adelaide City Council Bike Expo. It's open every day of the tour from 12.30 to... A magnificent uh, inflatable push bike. I think it's about 20 metres long and 20 metres high. A magnificent 
bright green to be seen and to be safe that's what it's all about the uh, group that's behind that the motor accident commission and joining the motor accident commission's enormous bike in the tour down under village and it's amazing Stuart O'Grady and down under village in Victoria Square right under Max's enormous bike